beginning of what my career as being an investigator in Sasquatch research. The incident that Bill is referring to is a landmark case and one that put the village of Whitehall on the maps of Sasquatch researchers everywhere. I'm definitely a believer. I, I was there. I know what I saw. Brian Goslin, like Dan Gordon, is a retired Whitehall police officer. In 1976, he also came face to face with a creature he had no explanation for. Well, the night of the sighting was uh, August of 1976. Uh, I was a police officer on duty in Whitehall, New York. And I had two gentlemen pull up to the side of my patrol car, and, and these guys came in saying they had seen some kind of a creature, monster, out on A Bear Road. And, and they, they were dead serious. I mean, these guys were really wound out. And I drove my, my own car right out into the field. It was a cool night for August. It was crystal clear, dead, dead quiet. And we were talking back and forth once in a while on the CB. And then all of a sudden, I hear Jim holler to me. He says, what the hell is it? He said, I'm t he's, Brian, he's, he said, I see something. What is it? Jim come tearing out of the field with the patrol car. And he headed back to Whitehall. I listened to this for a few minutes coming across the meadow. Not, and, and, and I'm not scared like a child seeing a, the boogeyman, but my, my, my skin was crawling, my hair was standing on it. I knew there was something coming at me, towards me. It wasn't avoiding me. And I got out of the car, and I had the door open, had my 357 in my hand, hammer pulled back, and I flicked that light on, and all I remember seeing was a creature, uh, seven, seven and a half, eight foot tall, 400 pounds, hairy, and when I hit it with the spotlight, it brought hands, not paws, brought hands up and, and covered its face. And I can remember, I, it's etched in my mind, it let out such a blood-curdling, deep-toned screech. 